Okay, guys. So, one of the reason I got the um, new Dell XPS 15 was because I wanted to upgrade it in future. So, I wanted to have like 64 gig of RAM in future. I have like a maybe one terabyte SSD or two terabyte SSD. So that was one of the reasons I purchased this laptop. And today uh, we have um, the crucial one terabyte um, NVMe M.2 SSD. And I'm going to be upgrading this laptop. So right now there's an SSD of um, 500 gig inside this laptop. So I'm going to be adding this additional one terabyte SSD so that we're going to have 1.5 terabyte SSD. And I'm also going to do a speed test on this SSD versus the one inside. So let me open the SSD. And um, okay. Okay. So this, this thing is small. It's just funny that you can have just funny you can have one terabyte in this small package. It's tiny, like okay. Let me get my the size. It's just the size of my credit card over here. Smaller than it. Like the length. Anyway, let's put this aside. And um, we're going to be opening this laptop. I pray I don't break it. But if I do, you're not going to be seeing this video. I'm not going to be uploading it for sure. <laughs> so, okay. This is a brand new laptop. And um, I have my set of screwdrivers here. So I think the screws here are um, it's T5 screws. I'm going to be taking the T5. And I'm going to be removing this. So I think that's just this, that's just a sweet thing about some of these laptops because you can just upgrade it when you need to unlike some other manufacturers that you make sure you cannot upgrade the laptop. So I'm going to be removing the screws. Okay, so now we're going to remove the back cover. Okay. And this is what we have inside. So we have um we have the two two RAM here, yeah? eight gig, eight gig each. I can change this to 16 gig, 16 or maybe test to test to in future. Then we have the second slot for the SSD over here. This is the first one here. And these are just the things you can upgrade. The Wi-Fi card is soldered on, but it's still okay because the Wi-Fi is Wi-Fi 6. And this is the battery here. So this is the one terabyte SSD. But it's just so bad that they didn't include yeah just insert it like this so they didn't include the screw that is supposed to put this ssd down here so i will have to get this screw so um i'll be right back okay so i was finally able to get a screw so we're going to be to replace this okay so I pray this works I honestly pray it does I'm actually supposed to have um, its um, shield on it 
or something to dissipate the excess heat from the SSD but I don't have that right now so we're just going to go with this and um, we're going to cover it back Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to check for the for the dicks. You can see that we cannot see the dicks yet. You can only see the former one. So um, going to go to dicks management. The dicks management. Um, okay, let me use the software to get there. So we're going to go to yeah, X management. Okay, and we can see it here that it's unallocated here. So um, we're going to continue just kind of partition it and next, next. Okay, let me name this data next and yes our dicks is ready so if I should go to windows I can see the dicks over here 931 gig or one, one terabyte so we're going to perform a speed test and first of all I'm going to select the inbuilt DIX, the inbuilt SSD that came with the system. I'm going to do a speed test. Okay, so we have a read speed of about 3.4 gigabit per or gigabyte per second, and a write speed of of 2.7 gigabytes per second. So we're going to do the the test for the for the second one now. So we're going to do the test for the newly installed crucial 1 terabyte SSD Okay, so um, the speed of this, the read speed is about 2 gigabyte per second, while the write speed is about 2 gigabytes per second. The inbuilt SSD is much faster, but this, this is also very, very fast. So I'm going to be doing a full review of, of the laptop. I'm going to be installing games on this SSD and um, um, going to be um, exporting videos using Premiere Pro. I'm going to do the full review of the whole performance of the laptop so make sure you click on the like button and subscribe and um, I'll see you on the next one.